So a related question that brings together, kind of covers some of um, the points made by people, some people in the Q&A regarding social justice and other dimensions. This is a, this is a two-pronged question from Tristan Sykes. Are there any concrete examples and is it actually possible that a vastly more complex mineral-based energy system can maintain the required degree of complexity across six continent supply chains? And given the state of the biosphere, is a mining boom really the most socially and ecologically just way to address limits to growth and civilizational collapse? So the universal answer to that is no. Right, that's, that, that's the simple answer to that. The response to that is you know, every single word in that statement is correct. Right, uh, um, uh, a mineral-based system will be amazingly complex, and if we lose coal, let's let never mind oil. Now, if we lose coal, most of our existing ability to manufacture stuff just checks out; it stops. With with if we were to go green elements of manufacturing, we could do it, but it'll have to happen on such a small scale compared to what we do now, which means uh, it will not be available for everyone. And so from a biological point of view, the complexity of an organism is defined by the energy you put into it, and the size of the organism is also defined by the energy you put into it. Reduce that energy, it must shrink, and it must become simpler. That is actually what's going to happen to us. And so that question diagnoses most of the real problems of why we are now going to shrink. Yeah, the complexity of our predicament mm. at the moment is quite mind-boggling if you start bringing in geology, energy, politics, society. You end up oh, inventing no. more swear words, more innovative <laughs> swear words. That's correct. <laughs> <laughs>